Hello everyone, it's Mr. Fuller again with another video lesson. So today we are going to work on bed mass or bed mass, uh, whatever you like. So it's an order of operations. So I guess what we'll do is we'll start off with what bed mass stands for. So let's write it down here. That didn't work. We'll try again. So we have B, E, D, M, A, S. So when we talk about this, it's just an acronym, and it just helps us remember what order we should do um, longer equations. So the first one is brackets. Second one is exponents. Third one is division. Fourth one, multiplication. Fifth one, addition. And sixth one, subtraction. So if we do it in this order, um, we are going to get the right answers. The second thing I want to note on this is that when we're talking about addition subtraction as well as division multiplication we are going to go from left to right and we'll talk about that a little bit more but if there is a multiplication and a division um, in the same same uh, line or there's, two, or there's two different ones then you want to do the one that's furthest left like kind of like you're reading a book and then that will help us get the answer correct so um, we'll just do a couple of examples here but I guess but first let's go through the rules of of uh, negatives and positives so there's a pretty simple way to think about this we'll use green here so when we're talking about we'll start with addition and we're going to use the numbers a and b or numbers like a and b they are letters but let's just pretend that they can be any number ever if we have a plus a plus b this is going to equal a plus b a minus a minus b is going to equal a minus b oh minus minus make a plus actually sorry so two wrongs make a right a minus a plus b is going to be an a minus b and a plus a minus b is going to equal a minus b as well so this is kind of a um, a formula so instead of thinking it as two different operations we can just think of one and this works for I guess addition and subtraction if we have the two or I guess all four examples here when we're talking about multiplication this is the way it's going to work so if we have a times b well of course that's just going to equal plus plus of course that's just going to equal a times b the second one here we got let's try a or minus a times minus b well as you can think of it, the addition subtraction is actually going to equal a times b as well if we have minus a times b or positive b we're going to get a minus a b as well as if you get an a times a minus b we're going to get a minus a b as well so basically you think it if they're the same it's going to be a positive these are all positive numbers if they're different than this like here it's going to be a negative and the same thing goes up top right so if we have a plus and a minus makes a minus plus and a minus makes a minus two wrongs make a right and two rights make a right as well um, so now that we have this information let's uh, go ahead and try a few examples so flip the page here so um, let's try this first example we have negative fifteen divided by negative three minus a plus four times by a negative two and if you notice in this question I know with our uh, with our bed mess I'll write it on the side here so we can remember that we said we want to do brackets first and there's lots of brackets in this equation but what we have to look at when we look at each of these brackets what we're noticing is that there's nothing to do in the bracket it's just a number whether it's a negative number or a positive number it's still just a number it's just an integer so actually actually when we're talking about this all the brackets are already done so we can cancel that out 
Next is exponents. We have no number that has an exponent, so we can cancel that out. Next is division multiplication from left to right. Well, we have a division and a multiplication, but division's further left, so let's do that first. So our division here, we have a minus times a minus, so that's going to equal a plus. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so we have a plus 5. And then what we want to do is keep everything else the exact same. The most important thing that we want to do when we do these types of questions is keep organized. So now what we can do, we can go ahead and do our multiplication and I'll keep, well let's uh, keep that in red. So plus 5 and this time we want to do this multiplication so we have a plus times a minus which is a wrong, 4 times 2 which is an 8. Okay. Now we're into one of those situations that we saw before. So now we have a minus and a minus. Two wrongs will make a right. And then we'll keep everything else the same. And then we have a plus 5. So now we have plus 5 plus 8. And that is equal to a total answer of 13. And that's our final answer. So you can see, the more organized you stay, the easier it's going to be. Okay, let's try one more example, and then I'll send you off on your way. So let's do a little bit tougher example. Okay, we are going to try this one. Minus 8 plus a negative 2 times by big bracket 4 plus a negative one big bracket. So this one's got a little bit more going on. Again, I encourage everyone to start off, even if you write bed miss, it's going to help out just to remember. So the first one, again, brackets. So this one, again, we can look at our brackets on that two, but there's no order of operations here. But if we look at these big brackets, there's something in here, there's an addition in here. So let's do that first. We got eight plus minus 2 times by, so we'll do the inside of the bracket here, and if we look here, we have a two signs right beside each other, so we have a plus and a minus right beside each other, which make that into a negative. So we're actually going to look at 4 minus 1, and that's going to be equal to a positive 3. And I'll put it in brackets for now. So our brackets are done. Exponents, we have no exponents in here, so we'll ignore that. Division, multiplication from left to right. All right, we have multiplication, so we'll keep everything else the same again. Eight plus, there we go. And then we have a minus times a plus, which is gonna be a minus, and then two times a three, which is six, and there we go. All right, so now we're down to the final nitty gritty. As you can see again, we have two orders right beside each other, so a plus and a minus make a minus keep the 6, keep the negative 8. Okay, so I know in my class some people did get a little bit confused on what to do with this one. And I think the easiest way to think about it is you owe your mom $8, negative 8, and you took 6 more. So if you think of it like that, you owe her minus $14. Another way to think of that is if you can draw a number line you always start with the first one, the first number, and you have a negative 8, which if we go up, you know it goes up by a little bit each time all the way up to, well, we go up to negative 5 here, this one goes down a little bit further. If you ever get stuck, always start at the first one. If it's a positive, you go right. If it's a negative, you go left. So in this case, it's a negative, so we just count down 6, and I didn't make it long enough, but if we followed that, we'd get down to negative 14. Uh, so hopefully that helped out. Uh, if you need some pr extra practice problems, you can go onto my web so website, uh, mrjfuller.com, um, and I hope that helped you out. All right, thanks.